Stop learning new trading strategies. So that's going to be the topic of today's video. I feel like many people always ask me and they say, you know, what's your trading strategy or they see one on YouTube and they feel like they need to copy it 100% and do everything that the person online does or the, pers the person that you're learning from does. Well, honestly, that's not the case. You know, you can read books and everything you can study and you can do chart work and analysis and I'll tell you what if you don't use real money and create your own strategy I can almost guarantee a hundred percent of the time you will lose money because what works for some one person may not work for you and that's the biggest thing you know many people don't understand my strategy or they tried it and they said Carter you know it doesn't work for me you know I'm sorry and you know, I, I keep doing it and I keep losing money and honestly, it's fine. But what I would recommend doing is taking bits and pieces from popular traders, figure out work, what works for yourself because you don't want to find yourself in a situation where you have so many strategies and so many different techniques and setups where it overwhelms yourself. You want to specialize in maybe one, two or three, three being the max, you know, because it's better to be proficient in three strategies than to be mediocre at, you know, six or ten. You know, I found when I first started trading, I was, like I said, I was reading books, watching videos, and I tried to copy all these people's strategies and all these people's techniques. And, you know, yes, it worked sometimes, but I honestly didn't know why I was buying in. I didn't understand the patterns or the setups. And obviously, that is just a recipe for disaster. So, you know, I ended up blowing up my account, um, you know, two months or three months, and it just was terrible. It was awful. But, you know, I took the time and I found bits and pieces from many popular traders. I read a book. I actually read probably one, two, maybe six books actually on trading. Um, so, I, I did that, and everything just started to pick up. I created a strategy that worked very very well for me you know I paper traded with it um, probably for six months to a year before I actually even used real money because I wanted to uh, make sure that this is a hundred percent concrete you know strategies are made just for guidelines and you can still break them you know break those rules but if you break a rule then often it's kind of like the domino effect. So if that's say you look for stocks uh, with a volume over 500,000, you know, this is just an example. I'm not saying this is what I do, but so let's say you find a, you know, your go-to is stocks over 500,000 volume. And let's say you look for stocks with anything gapping up more than 5%. Okay, so let's just say those are your basic guidelines. So let's say a stock hits your, uh, you look, you you find a stock, and it has 250,000 uh, shares traded or the volume, and let's say you have, it's only up two percent, and you're like, oh well, it's up, you know, it's close, and often, often or not, you make those rules for a reason, so you'll most likely end up losing money. So pretty much stop, uh, stop learning strategies, honestly create one that works for yourself you will not regret it and you know all these people say oh that's caught what is your strategy what do you do what do you that I want I want it I want yours and no I you know I, I give mine out uh, it's not complicated you know I'm creating a course right now but the course that I'm creating is to help people create their own strategies and learn different setups because if you learn let's say if you learn uh, 10 of them you don't have to be an expert in 10. You know, that's what I said. If that say you said, oh, well, this makes 100%, let me try this out, and it starts working for you, it may work for you, but maybe Billy over here, it doesn't work as well for him. You know, that's just an example. So stop learning those strategies and create one that works for yourself. Make a list of rules where you follow them. You know, when I first started trading, I, I was just jumping on stocks just because I could. And obviously, I paid a lot in commissions because I was over trading. So then I kind of stepped back and I said, okay, I'm making a list of rules. So now I look for stocks over, you know, four or five percent, 
Now I'm looking for stocks that are you know close to their pre-market highs within you know three or four percent, and then I'm looking for stocks with uh, you know around you know 500 to a million shares traded. Anything over a million shares traded pre-market, it starts to get overcrowded, but that's a whole different thing. You know, I created this just for myself, and you know, I do teach it to many traders, but I often uh, want to teach them the proper way to proper way to create their own strategies. And in the long run, it will definitely be a hundred percent, you know, hundred uh, percent, you know, success if you learn your own. You know, so that's what I'm saying. Stop learning these strategies create your own. So that's it though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please try to like, subscribe, comment if you're new. And if you want to be part of the trading team, I'll put that down below. So that's it though. Remember to always stay happy, stay positive, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the weekend. We, tomorrow is Monday, so let's start tomorrow, tomorrow off on a green note. Take